Hello my friend, you might recall that we started our journey of the 72-73 India-England series with the 5th test at Debrebon Stadium. We then time travelled backwards and after stopping over at Green Park, Jaipok and Eden Gardens, we now have arrived at the Firosha Kotla. You might also recall that the footage is from the two-hour movie Victory Story which I had uploaded a few years ago. They were sliced into five parts for easier viewing. I now present you the final one. However, the commentary in the original film didn't turn out to be all that popular. Many of you have expressed understandable displeasure about the narrator, whose name we will spare from mentioning. Bored cliched, annoying, biased, opinionated are some of the adjectives used. And many of you have wanted this to be changed to the present style. I do share your frustration. Although I wasn't at all sure whether it was entirely within my scope, I have here made a humble attempt to redo the commentary. I have stripped off the rhymes, the rhetoric and the PJs which many of you had found annoying in the original film. Let me assure you, I haven't done anything crazy but have merely paraphrased the original narration in my own words. And wherever apt, I have taken the liberty of embellishing the story by adding a little more comment and context based on material I could dig out from cricket history books, articles and podcasts. This, being a vintage piece, doesn't lend itself to be presented in the modern laser bullet style. So, in keeping up with the norms of those kind of films, I had to follow a documentary style of narration. I hope you will enjoy watching this as much as I have enjoyed making this. And for those of you in a rush, some delightful moments. Which one now quickly gets into his element? Cotton tries to exploit the batsman's weakness for outside the option. But the little master punishes him nice and square. Abid lifts India from droll rocks. Hammers Cotton. Three boundaries in and over. Venkat times his shot sweetly. The agile engineer pounces and stops that odd ball from Beatty. But Beatty floats one and his fumbles and engineer stumps him in a flat. Chandra bowls to an attacking field. Fletcher under pressure. Even before he can find his bearings, Chandra bowls him with a beauty. Finally, Cotton falls to Chandra, Abit taking a brilliant catch. England all out for 200 and Chandra takes a career best of 8 for 79. Parker in full steam pulls Cotton. Eknath Solkar to the rescue. Shows what a fine all-rounder he can be. Engineer dazzles the crowd with a glittering array of strokes. Now playing his favorite shot. Drives are not. Greg at silly point swivels as Solker drives underwood. Baby on a personal landmark. And there he gets his hundredth wicket. Fletcher got by Varika for a duck. Baby is the fourth Indian after Gupte, Mankar and Prasanna to achieve the distinguished landmark. I must mention again that the footage we are going to be watching is not from a live coverage. A government of India crew filmed this with equipment which even by the early 70s standards would have been considered obsolete. On top of that, imagine how hard it would be when you have only 60 minutes supply of camera rolls to cover the excitement spanning a 5 day event. So, we can't really blame the cameraman if he couldn't anticipate and capture those precise caught Solkar, bold Chandra or caught not bold old moments. 
like visiting an archaeological site, I hope the wonder of finding what is there will overshadow the disappointment of what isn't. Without further ado, over to the Firosha Kotla. The first test between England and India is about to begin at Firosha Kotla. Tony Lewis making his debut as England's captain loses the toss to Wadikar, who decides to bat. England has sent a young team. Its key players, Illingworth, Snow, Boycott, have all declined to tour India. Only Knott and Underwood have played more than 20 tests. Parker making his debut opens the innings with Gavaskar. And over to Gavaskar. A tense Parker faces Cotton. And now Arnold, who makes the best of the moist wicket and swings the ball menacingly. India looking confident after their recent overseas victories. Parker hooks Arnold, but into the waiting hands of Pocock, out for four on his test debut. Next man, Wadekar doesn't last long. He's out for three, bowled by Arnold. What a disappointment. Sardesai, a far cry from its West Indies form, continues to struggle. So does Gavaskar. Gavaskar is caught by Greg. He too falls to Arnold. Arnold, six overs, nine runs, three wickets. Vishwana quickly gets into his element. Cotton tries to exploit the batsman's weakness for outside the option, but the little master punishes him nice and square. Sir Desai's luck runs out and is bowled by Arnold. India 43 for 4. Vishwanath makes a fine knock of 27 before edging to knock of break. 59 for 5. Attacking cricket by Sol and Engineer. They try to get India out of the mess. But bottom clean bowls Engineer. India 80 for 6. Their powerful batting lineup laid to ruins by Arnold and Gray. Abid lifts India from droll drops. Hammers caught him. Three boundaries in and over. And here is one more. Abid drives caught him all the way to four runs. Solker falls to Greg, caught behind by Knott. Venkat times his shot sweetly and keeps the score moving. End of first day. Venkat and Abid outlive the long shadows. India 156 for 7. Arnold gets the new ball and doesn't make it easy for Venkat. 
Abid, the top scorer with 58 magnificent runs, is out to a great catch by Greg of Cotton. Venkat gives Arnold his fifth wicket, caught by Greg for 17. Now, Arnold has to choose between Bedi and Chandra. And finally, that is for Chandra. India all out for 173. Arnold a career best of 6 for 45. Wood and Amis open the innings for England. Abid and Solkar begin the formalities of a pace attack for India. Wadikar loses no time in bringing the spinners on. The agile engineer pounces and stops that odd ball from Bailey. The English openers don't appear to be in any kind of trouble. They handle the spin very well in the beginning, freezing past 50 in no time. When all seems to be going so well for England, Chandra strikes the first blow. Wood is out, caught by Venkat for 19. Amis in full command, losing no opportunity to punish the short ball. But Beatty floats one, Amis fumbles, and Engineer stops him in a flat. Chandra bowls to an attacking field. Fletcher under pressure. Even before he can find his bearings, Chandra bowls him with a beauty. Lewis LBW to Chandra for a duck. Chandra three wickets from eight balls as Greg faces. Dennis pulls off a four. A fine drive by Greg dispatching a loose one from Chandra to the boundary. How's that? But the umpire is unmoved. Mike Ken is in trouble. Dennis falls to bait, caught by engineer for 15. Chandra switches ends. With shadows running long, device Tony Gregg refuses to take any chances. Not is out, brilliantly caught by Solkar of Chandra. End of second day, England, 151 for 6. Beatty's bowling is poetry in motion. Greg in trouble. Greg adds runs at one end, while Chandra strikes at other. Abid holds Arnold. England 152 for 7. There goes Pocock, LBW Chandra for a duck. Underwood with Craig takes England past India's score of 173. Finally, Cotton falls to Chandra. Abid taking a brilliant catch. England all out for 200 and Chandra takes a career best of 8 for 79. Arnold begins with a bumper. Ramnath Parker, the debutant, overcoming his anxiety now, bats with confidence. Parker in full steam pulls cotton. Parker gets a pat from Gavaskar, his opening partner from the Bombay Ranji Trophy team. Greg, feeling at his customary position of very silly point, 
life catches Gavaskar of Thunderwood. Gavaskar not too happy at the verdict. Out for eight. Pocock to Wadikar. Wadikar again playing with the middle of his bat. Parker leg before to Pocock after a solid 35. Wadikar plays his shots handsomely. Sardesai, whom Vijay Merchant had called the Renaissance man of Indian cricket, caught quite great of Underwood, is gone. Gone for good, for this would be his last test. Mm-hmm, not a good idea. Underwood clean goes Vishwanath for three. India, Arden 3 for 5. Eknath Solkar to the rescue. Shows what a fine all-rounder he can be. Engineer dances the crowd with a glittering array of strokes. Now playing his favorite shot. Drives Arnold. All eyes on Engineer and Solka, who bat solidly and retrieve the situation. Quick running between the wickets here. To run or not to run? Perhaps not. Engineer doesn't hesitate this time. They get one and go for the second. Wood takes over from Arnold. Engineer and Solkar at 106 runs for the sixth wicket before Engineer is caught by not of Underwood. He returns after having scored a gallant 63. Arvid out to Pocock, caught by Fletcher for a duck. Greg at silly point swivels as Solker drives Underwood. With Venkat gone, Solker at the other end makes the best of every ball. What can he do? He is left with just Bedi and Chandra. Well, there goes Bedi, Anol cartwheeling the middle stump. Solker handsomely drives Greg, keeps the tail wagging, but for not too long. He hooks Arnold and is caught by substitute Goop for a brilliant 75. India all out for 2-3-3. England needs just 207 to win. Amis and Wood brace up to face Bedi and Chandra. Amis is the first to go, caught by Chandra of Bedi. Bedi on a personal landmark. And there he gets his 100th wicket. Fletcher caught by Wadika for a duck. Bedi is the fourth Indian after Gupte, Mankad and Prasanna to achieve the distinguished landmark. England 24-2, Wood and Dennis curtail further damage. Chandra tries in vain to repeat his first innings magic. Dennis hits him for yet another four. Chandra switches ends. Oh oh, there goes a big chance. Arvid falters and Dennis escapes. Dennis's luck doesn't last long. He's caught by Vishwanath 
to give Chandra his only wicket in the second innings. England, 3 for 76. Lewis starts shakily. But the well-settled wood at the other end gathers runs and sees through the end of day four. It's Christmas Monday on day five. England needing 101 runs with seven wickets in hand just loses Barry in the morning to Beatty. Tony Gregg joins Tony Lewis and runs keep coming steadily. Lewis having taken six overs to get off the mark and having spent a restless Sunday night settles quickly on the final morning. He and Gregg bat cautiously staying clear of doing anything flashy. Victorious Christmas for Tony Lewis in his first test as England's captain. Neither Chandra nor Bedi nor Venkat are able to cause any more damage. And England are true to a great victory. Greg 40 and Lewis a captain's knock of 70. India, with their two overseas victories just before the series, has been humbled. Wadekar said, We weren't merely confident, but overconfident.